My name is Joy K. Madison and I'm a PsyD candidate for marriage and family therapy. I am incredibly excited to be hearing about what you're doing with the Mindful Beauty Project because as the conversation about mental health is growing and people are seeking services at a rapidly growing rate, sometimes our resources are falling short. So it's so important to have hands and people in the community who are contacting and being sort of, sort of in relationship with these people who are asking questions and don't always have access to um, treatment. So to be able to have people in the community who are working with people for hours on end every week, seeing them, learning about them, hearing their stories, their issues, their concerns, their conflicts, is so great to know that we are equipping and informing stylists and other professionals to be aware of the signs and symptoms so that they can be like the first stop towards ushering the people into getting the proper care and support that they need. And I'm Janae Oliver, I'm a community health manager for Kaiser Permanente representing the South Bay. And Mindful Beauty is really the manifestation of a project that was developed at Charles Drew University to really look at how do we train non-traditional partners like hairstylists on the signs and symptoms of depression. And we really recognize that um, in addition to the healthcare treatment that we provide within our doors, we also need people out in the community who are knowledgeable about these signs and symptoms but also to give them the tools, the knowledge, and the resources to make sure that they're well informed and that they can really provide the type of referrals that are needed. So we, as Kaiser Permanente, decided that we would invest in this as a pilot project, a two-year, $80,000 grant, um, to really look at, is this something that we can replicate? Is this something that will have significant outcomes for a population like black women in South Los Angeles? And so we are so grateful to be a partner of organizations like Black Beauty Shop Health Foundation, California Black Women's Health Project, and Charleston University. And then we'll be bringing on some other licensed uh, therapists and counselors like yourself, and uh, really trying to get them involved in the training of these hairstyles and the larger community. So thank you so much for your time, and we'll be starting to launch in June of this year. So stay tuned. <laughs>